So these nasturtiums right here have been growing for about a month in these containers. And I started these nasturtiums about three months ago, you guys. Three months ago, I planted the seed in the little containers indoors. They grew for about two months indoors before I put them outside in the containers. And they are just looking so, so amazing here. These right here are the Jewel Rose variety. It, it has this gorgeous, um, slightly cherry pink color. I just love them. And I have three plants in this container. I have some salvia on the back, but these three plants right here are just taking over and they're doing this amazing cascade of color. And I just love, love that look. I actually started nasturtiums last year for the first time indoors. They grew beautifully and I read that they were this amazing uh, trap plant for vegetables and I decided to pop them here and there in my raised beds. I fell in love with them. I fell in love with the texture and how they grow and this year I decided to put them in my flower containers, in my flower beds, so they're just going to be everywhere in my garden this year. These right here in these containers, you guys, oh my gosh, they are kind of becoming uh, these monsters taking over all these containers. These are supposed to be the same variety that I have on the other smaller containers, but I am pretty sure that I messed up on either um, making the name tags and maybe I, ch I got the wrong seeds or I got the wrong plants, I am not sure. But these are definitely not the same variety than the others because these ones are just trailing and they're absolutely huge. They are orange and they were supposed to be pink to match with everything that I have here. But obviously you can tell this is more like a, like a bright orange. And I think if I am correct, these are the um, tall trailing mix variety. It was not supposed to be here, but that's okay. Look at the size of the leaves. Like, look at that. Like it's bigger than my palm. Look at that. Aren't these gorgeous? I just absolutely love, love the shape of the leaves. And honestly, even if they didn't bloom, if they just stay green like this for the whole season, I will be okay because I just adore, adore the, the shape of the leaves. And I have two in each container. And these right here are definitely the ones that are just basically huge. And these right here on the back are the ones that are kind of just um, slowly getting there. But everything else in the containers is filling up nicely. And oh my gosh, I cannot get over how gorgeous these nasturtiums are. If you are wondering about fertilizer, when I planted these nasturtiums in these containers, I added some slow release fertilizer to the soil. And after that, a couple of weeks later, I added some uh, liquid fertilizer, just anything for annuals that I had around. And after that, I haven't done anything. And honestly, I do not think that they need it. I mean, they're already going and taking over this spot and uh, I am, I'm just loving them. Let me show you the ones that I have next to my uh, honeysuckle wall. These nasturtiums over here are a little bit smaller, but they also were planted a little bit later than the ones in the containers. And I have not fertilized these ones yet, so I might do that this coming week. After all that rain stops here in central Indiana, it has been crazy. The amount of rain that we have been getting, uh, it's great for the plants, but it also doesn't let me work outside and that's okay. Sometimes I need that break. I mentioned that I started using nasturtiums last year in my vegetable garden and this year was no exception. I have a bunch of them in my raised beds, around my tomatoes, around my peppers, and they're, they're doing great. They were planted a couple of weeks um, later than the ones in the containers that you just saw. And uh, they're smaller, but they're, they're doing great. If you watch the past videos where I talk about the nasturtiums, I, you probably remember me mentioning that the one variety that I was really excited about this year was this kind, Cherry Rose Jewel. 
It is amazing. It is everything that I expected it to be, just gorgeous. But one that sort of surprised me, not because I didn't think that it was going to be great, but I didn't think that I was going to be loving it that much, is uh, Black Velvet. Let me show you that one. In my mind, Black Velvet was supposed to be this dark velvety color, but instead I have this gorgeous deep red color with a yellow center, and I absolutely love, love that color. And I am definitely going to be saving seeds from these nasturtiums here so that I can start a few of them next year. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you have any questions about nasturtiums, growing nasturtiums from seed, just let me know in the comments. And until the next video, 